Hello, I'm Claire and I'm recording this video to demonstrate how to paint a simple motif for patterns in ArtRage 4 software. I'm doing this for a friend and almost as an experiment, but let's begin. The background is simply my normal desktop. Yes, I like squirrels, but let's move swiftly to ArtRage here, double clicking to open the program. And we have our age. The way I set up our age is not necessarily the way that you would, but just to demonstrate, because it'll give you a file that's very versatile. If you go into edit and resize painting, if you change that to 300 pixels to the inch at an A4 size, and I've already got a preset that does that, 8 by 10 at 300 dpi is what you're searching for and click OK. And then I'm going to reduce this up here simply so that it's easy to see on the screen. So clicking to go to 75, 50 and 25%. OK, so now we have our basic recording screen and I'm just going to show you as close to the whole of the, the screen as I can. I might have to move it a little bit for certain things. Um, I start off with the pen tool, which is, I hope you can still see this down here, you can just see the tip of the pen. This is the pen tool. And I'm going to move down slightly. There we go. So the pen tool here. And as we're just going to be drawing a very simple leaf motif, I'm going to get it straight away to a sort of leafy green colour, although it's going to be the black version of it for pen outline. So picking up my graphics pen now, going to the tablet, any tablet should work with this. I have a four-year-old Trust tablet and it works just fine. So almost anything is more sophisticated than that and whatever you've got. And even if you've got the mouse, this will work. It's just easier with a graphics pen. Anyway, drawing. A very simple leaf outline shape. Oh, and I don't like that little line, so I'm just going to do Control Z on my keyboard and it goes immediately. And Control Z again. Control Z is the silent miracle of digital art. In fact, anytime you hear the keyboard going, there's a good chance it's Control Z. Right. Blah! Might actually get this line in if I stop talking just slightly. There we go. And He's going to use a leaf, so he's going to have some little lines, little veins up there. And we have a very basic leaf shape there. And so I am, if we've already got our first layer there with pen on. I'm going to click here on the plus sign. And let me just move the, the amount of screen that you see. Just to check, you can see this see layers palette. So now this is the pen marks are underneath. In fact, you're going to want your watercolor or other color to go underneath that. So now I'm working on the layer beneath this leaf just to add watercolor. And I'm going to move what you see again. And we're going to go to watercolor. This is the watercolor brush here. Click on that. I'm going to change the brush in presets. Just a normal watercolour and go for a very light wash just to demonstrate what I'm meaning here. Down here you change the size of the brush so I'm going to put it all the way up I think to 100% because it's a very light wash here and I'm just painting it. There we go. Light light wash. As with an ordinary watercolour you can add more. So light washes are a good way to go. Now I like to leave some little margin between most of what I'm doing and the line just because you get extra highlights but that's purely stylistic there's no real reason to do that I just do and I'm clicking here on some grey just to shade if I can go for a darker grey but it's still a grey green it's within that same green and I'm just shading here up over each of the veins, and, this, and this, you're probably sitting thinking, 
I could do this so much better. I'm more sophisticated. Yes, you probably are. This is a quick demo. Um, am I going to control Z? Oh. And the computer for some reason needs to catch up. Control Z and Control Z. There we go. And let's just make the green a bit more vibrant. And I'm choosing to actually shaking cursor is never good. That means it's that's it. It's trying to do more. I'm going to add an extra layer. Put a layer in beneath for some deeper green. When in doubt, do something on different layers because then you will have choice and you can play around with things more. And obviously, you'll play around with this to your heart's content. Hi, just trying to do a little demo video. Actually, I prefer that green. So I don't know, the, I think the light green underneath it might be giving it some ballast, so keep that too, but that's, that's really leafy. And as I'm creating this, it happens to be, well, this is London, so it's pretending to be high summer outside, which means it's really raining, but the leaves are really green on the trees, and they're exactly this nice deep green colour, so there we go. And yeah, I'm sure there are many better leaves in this world, but for the purposes of this demo, we have a nice leafy green motif and just to save that then and again I'm going to have to pick up and show you up here up here on the toolbar to save this you go file save painting as and notice this will only give you the native format of the um, program but that's okay I'm just going to call it basic leaf because it is and I'm going to click save and you may be thinking but I want to get this out I want to get it into a format I can use like a JPEG or a PNG fear not this is what we're going to come on to next in fact because in the next video I'm going to be using this in a pattern I really want it to be a transparent PNG so that's how we're going to export it remember you save to the native file format the format that comes with the program but you export to the files that you can use absolutely anywhere and to do that as a png i'm going to turn down this is canvas settings window here it happens to be open if it wasn't you would click down here on this little button on the layers palette and you would find canvas settings on the menu and it comes up like that Anyway, we're going to dial down the opacity right to zero. So you see you've got little checkerboards in the background that tells you that this motif is now transparent or it will be. I'm going to go file, I'm going to go export image file. Uh, I'm going to go basically, if you can see, there have been quite a few, it's June, there have been quite a few leaves uh, this month. And I'm going to go save, and it's saving file and that means that you have exported a transparent png leaf motif just to close up the program we're going to dial the opacity back up and resave the basic file in its native format but that concludes this little demo on how to create a basic leaf motif in artrage 4 thanks ever so much and have a great day